Let's talk model changes 2025 for Axapar. I'm standing here on the Axapar 22 AX E, which is the newly introduced Axapar 22 in an electric version. And what I want to show you is that there's a bow cover, uh, sorry, a sun cover available, which extends from the T-top to the bow. It is attached to this roof and there will be carbon fiber poles right here in the bow area so that you have a full sun cover covering the full bow area so you can actually sit here and enjoy the surroundings while being in the shade. Axapar 29 XE Cross Cabin. The Brabus line will also become available for 2025 on the 29 model line um, including of course the, uh, the different steering wheel, leather wrapped with the Brabus logo, detailing such as these badges on the seats, soft decking material in different places in black, of course black powder coated cleats, stainless steel grab rails powder coated also in black, uh, Brabus logo on the fender boxes and on the hull and a black uh, rub rail versus the standard gray rub rail. And the optional aft cabin will also be an option on the sun top for 2025. A great option I personally feel it's no, no longer really necessary because you still have the multi cabin but this option includes mattresses, lightning, ventilation, everything. And of course, the optional sunbed right here. And some small nice details is these cushions with something that attaches them to the other cushions so you don't lose them with a great sun um, lounge area here right in the back. Also available as a um, multi-storage where this sunbed comes about 20 centimeters lower and it's used for storage only, but it can also hold slightly wet materials such as a wakeboard or other stuff, being a great open storage area. The aft and bow sunshade will also become an option for 2025, both on the Oxapar 29 XC and the Suntop versions, where as we're used to with the 28, you have a sunshade right here in the back. You see these points where they attach to and poles here in the back, so you have a sunshade in the back and also in the bow area. The fender box wet bar option that now also is available on the 29. And here you can see it in detail with a nice cooler, really deep, actively cooled, electric of course, and a sink with a faucet. Just like this. Another option for 2025, also now on the Oxapar 29, is this gun whale mount. This, by the way, is called the gas grill preparation. And it includes the gun whale mount, this offset insert adapter, and also the canister, which is mounted in the anchor hatch with the piping for the gas canister. And there's a system where you can use magma grills, which is not included, but there's different options there which you can order from the manufacturer. A lightning package also is new for 2025. We are now on the Oxabar 29 CCX crossover. Um, I'm not sure whether this will be the same on the cross cabin and the sun top, but this boat actually has quite a few of the things that are included in that package. For example, there's red lights right here for navigation. They're not sure about the position yet. There's lights here. There's lights um, also in the deck uh, and they are in white for standard boats, standard boats and in blue if you have the Brabus line package. The LED logo light is illuminated also and, and a lot of people will really like this, they're dimmable. And not only these lights, uh, but also the lights in the aft cabin and also in the cabin in the cross cabin version and also these uh, the uh, the backlit right here in the switches which i think is a really good thing so a really nice and interesting lightning package another new option for the octopar 29 is the 
3D active imaging echo sounder which is mounted in the aft on the transom. Where you can use not only a normal echo sounder but also side scan and down scan in a 3D version. There still is an option to have a normal uh, transducer like an echo sounder which is mounted further forward which can be used I think uh, in speeds over 10 knots whereas the active imaging can be used in speeds under 10 knots giving you a really good view of, of what's underneath you on the bottom of the sea or river. The Adventure Collection Package. That is an option for 2025 on the Oxapark 29 XC and Suntop. In cooperation together with Joby, um, Oxapar has made some interesting packages. There's two packages available, one including the Adventure stand-up pedal board and the other one including the Adventure kayak. Uh, both having either cooler bags, dry bags and different stuff and vouchers with different values for sail racing clothing. There's floater vests in different sizes and there's an adventure sea scooter. Fender boxes, they have been redesigned. They are slightly elevated, which I personally like having long legs. So just sitting here feels a bit more comfortable. The cushions on top of them have been redesigned. You can open them much easier, which I really think is a good thing. And this is a new option where you can have this cooler, really, really big. And I think with the faucet right here. And there's another option like on the 29 where you can have a grill with a holder here. And on the other side, on the starboard side, you can have a live well as an option. Upholstery colors for 2025. These are available for orders as of October 2024. This is the standard color, the Silvertex Petrol, this is the Cobra one, this is the Sandstone, and this is the Baltic. We're inside the interior of the Oxapar 37 Santa, and the interior on the Oxapar 37 for 2025 is changing with regards to colors. I understand this is kind of a prototype because the gel coat here is light blue, but I think they're aiming at a, an off-white color for 2025. The mattresses, the material has changed. This is the uh, San Natural. There's piping right here. There's oak wood in different places. There's Lintex bamboo ceiling and wall panels. There's a different carpet, carpet structure. So it gives a different kind of feeling. And some minor details are also these side pockets right here in the same material as the ceiling panels and the wall panels and right here there also is a small place to store some small items while being in the front cabin this all applies also to the aft cabin if you choose that as an option there's a new standard feature on the 37 for 2025 and that is the power switch button that button switches off the MFDs, radar, echo sounder, and the night vision camera, which works well, especially if you're at anchor to conserve battery power. It does not switch off the VHF and the audio. This still is a great place to be lounging with this new off-deck U-sofa setup. It may look like the normal one, which you can have on the off-cabin or the multi-cabin, but we actually have a U-sofa here. Let me show you. So you have a great table here, which is actually quite big. So you can sit here, have a nice lunch or dinner. And this can actually accommodate, I think, around six people or so. You can still, still do some lounging right here. These backrests, which are really very comfortable. You could even kind of lie down if you take these cushions away. I love the small detail where they have these cushions fixed in a way that you don't lose them while on the way cup holders on this side and really um, good storage underneath here with open sides so easily accessible. As you can see this boat has a twin V10 400 setup. In order to do this you need to order the Brabus performance line. This is not retrofitable for previous model years because of CE regulations 
but it is an option now for 2025. And in order to do that, you need to order this option with the Brabus Performance Line, which also includes um, graphics on the uh, hull and on the roof side. There's a couple of other things, like the Lightning package, which I told you about, which is available on the Note 29. A similar package is also available on the Oxpar 37. And there's a, a, a night vision camera. I have been told that it's temporarily unavailable, but I suppose there will be another solution for the <laughs> night camera also. And the stern thruster. And that is an interesting option because many people have been ordering the joystick, op and joystick option, which I still think is great because of the skyhook fe feature and the easy maneuvering with just the use of a joystick. But now there's a different solution, including a stern thruster. So you need to order the bow thruster also to be able to order the stern thruster. And of course, it includes the full installation with the cabling and an extra uh, main switch. But I think it's an interesting option for people who, want, who don't want to spend that much money on the joystick option, but still want easy maneuvering. So new for 2025 on the Oxapart 37. Another new option is the inverter and battery monitoring system. As Campers Wild Sport, as a dealer, we have been installing uh, different inverters, mainly because people want to have the possibility to use a coffee machine on board. Now Oxapar will be offering a sim similar setup with a 3 kilowatt inverter and a battery monitoring system, which can be accessed with the MFD screens. I think you do need two if you want to order that setup but it is also available in the Oxapar 37 for 2025. For 2025 on the Oxapar 45, we're actually in the front cabin on the Oxapar 45 XC cross cabin, there's a couple of changes. As a standard, you will also have additional USB uh, sockets in different places. There's a night vision camera available temporarily. I think it's unavailable, but anyway, for 2025, it will become available again. There's a rub rail as a new option available, and you can have a travel edition package. And this boat actually does have the travel edition package, which consists of a couple of things. The uh, bow area right here in the standard setup has a foldable piece here, which can be used as a sofa. But as you can see here, this is a full uh, double bed with storage underneath. There's two drawers. And this again is included in the travel edition and there's further storage small storage but still very useful underneath the mattresses right here on the port side right here as a standard there's a small sofa also and as you can see when you order the travel edition package you get a cabinet the same applies to the aft cabin you can also have a travel edition there where the table a high load low table is replaced at no cost for a setup with a um, okay. fixed double bed. Last but not least, pricing for 2025. The hull prices are not changing in comparison to 2024, which is really good news. And I know that Oxapar is aiming at not changing prices for 2025. There's no certainty yet, but I do think that is a good thing to strive for. So these are the changes for 2025. Let me know if I forgot anything or if there's anything that I did not mention and you still would want to know, leave a remark in the comment section. But for now, thank you for watching and have a great day.